Okay, let's revive all the customizations which are available in a custom room and I might have missed them in a custom room videos, of course. But in this video, video could be a bit long, but we will cover all the customization and the things which are okay, which are kind of okay, okay, and what that particular thing do to your device. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Firstly, let's take a quick look at some power menu options available there. What this is, this is just a power menu animation. And basically it could be called as a customization thing. If you are into customization, you love to do some customizations on a device because it's not considered as feature. But yes, it's totally up to you. You can change animations according to your own preference. For example, this is the one which sometimes feel interesting one, of course. As you can see, this is how the power menu will come on your device. Else, we just have some actions available. Secure lock screen. Make sure to disable this thing because if you enable the advanced restart option even in the secure lock screen, of course, you have some issues with your privacy. Volume buttons also have the option for control playback, which you definitely have to turn it on because that's one of the most important things out there. Also, in many custom rooms right now, we have some custom lock screen clocks available and all the custom lock screen clocks are so good. Some things are interesting one here, for example, MIUI style or this minimal clock styles are good, interesting one. Also, some things depends upon the wallpaper. One of the clocks which I personally loved a lot is this one because of the colorful things you can say and also the side and a lot more things here. We also have the option for custom for clock fonts if you want to enable them. Weather settings. Uh, I will recommend you to choose this option, but disable the current location thing. Just disable this, but else we have similar kind of things available. Ripple effect is also kind of optional there and lock screen notification count. I guess you have to enable this because sometimes it gives you good lock screen UI. You can say that because uh, maximum lock screen notifications, if are set to three, you will not get more notifications than that. And you will not get any clutters in your lock screen. Moving to some miscellaneous options here. High developer status is high developer status apps option is also present in many custom rooms like Evolution XOS, Matrix OS, I guess even in CR Android and a lot more custom rooms. And that's so useful. You can choose any particular app to hide the developer status. For example, if you have installed any banking app, it detects the developer options. Simply enable this option and you are good to go. Ignore window secure flags and also the higher FPS in games. If you are a gamer, you will definitely enable this feature for sure. Even if you are not, but you are just playing games for fun for a few minutes or etc. You still want to check it out. We have the option for spoofing unlimited photo storage. I guess everyone uses this swipe to screenshot is definitely one of the features which everyone use. I personally use it a lot because of course this is quite handy. Navigation options are also there, which uh, nobody talks about actually, because most of the users actually use gestures. But if you move to navigation options and if you are using uh, switches or navigation keys at the bottom, you have the option for home long press shortcuts. So for example, you can choose that for search assistant, recent app, screenshot. Like if you long press the home key, you will, you will be able to take screenshots. You will be able to toggle torch and a lot more things. These tasks are so underrated. So yes, in case by any chance, if you use the navigation keys, then check out these options too. Toast animation is, could be the thing only in this custom room, maybe. Maybe some other custom rooms provide you. And we are talking about project matrix, by the way. So if you are using this custom room, it's quite good. This is just for uh, the notification kind of things. Like if you enable the animation, if you enable or change these animations, whenever you get any toast notification, things will be like that. Clipboard overlay, etc. Kind of similar kind of things available there. Also, you can see here force stop button. So it's kind of really optional. Heads up notifications, but as you can see, less boring heads up notification. If this feature is present, make sure to enable this because this is actually better. Island notification is there. Uh, this is also kind of really optional. I've already shown you that this is one of the features I personally don't like a lot. Many of you might love this thing, so you can enable this option. It gives you the, it's simply a retick, it is a replacement of retick or notifications. Uh, I guess better if you click the notification while you are on call. Basically, if you get any call with this island notification, if you click that notification, you will be able to pick that call. And if you hold that, you'll be able to decline that. Um, sometimes I don't feel comfortable with that. Also, 
because if you are into customizations and if you love doing customizations then try out some header customizations too images header in the quick settings panels if i enable this option this is how the quick settings panel looking like if you are into custom rooms from past seven to eight years approximately you might already know that uh, having header customizations and the quick settings panel was one of the most amazing things i still remember resurrection remix after using these kind of things resurrection remix was one of my favorite custom rooms in the terms of uh, customizations so as this one because this custom room is giving me almost every kind of things and it, it's giving me the vibes of a resurrection remix here you can see here the background transparency so from percentage 1 to 100 you have the option to customize almost anything automatic bluetooth on is a new feature we will talk about that later on in the upcoming videos there brightness slider is a similar here quick setting tile styles because of course we are customizing the quick settings panel so as expectedly quick setting tile styles are there so you can choose i mean if android 11 style quick settings panel is what you need because many of you including me android 12 13 14 style quick settings panel is kind of okay okay but android 11 style quick settings panel was good data usage definitely have to check it out and also the clear all notification button moving to some sound options there you can see volume steps for any chance by any chance if you want to customize this thing for example if i choose this media volume to 100 you can see here if i enable this if i increase the media volume as you can see steps are 100 it's just for fun of course it will not increase or decrease anything on your device but because we are just talking about some customizations so in case you want to check it out you can it's totally up to you so volume panel styles are also there i mean all the things are similar here like other custom rooms status bar of course all the similar kind of customizations available in every custom room i guess most of the customizations are same here you have the option for votivo wi-fi icons clock and date in the clock background chip in the clock and date settings you will see some background chip options which i have already enabled in my status bar as you can see network traffic monitor is already inbuilt in most of these custom rooms you also have the option to choose the custom votivo wi-fi icons but let me show you one feature or one thing which I personally loved a lot is called status bar padding. Many of you might don't know. For example, if I change this, you can see the status bar. The icons are here left and right. In some custom rooms, these icons are not located perfectly fine. So if this custom feature, this feature, this customization feature, you can say if it is present, it's amazing because you can adjust according to you. The top padding, left padding, right padding. I found this feature was available in Banana Droid, but unfortunately the custom room is no more alive from a lot of time. So this is it. Moving to some user interface options there. Monet settings, uh, this is actually useful in most of the cases, especially if you have applied a wallpaper, but you don't want to apply the colors of that wallpaper. Then you can choose the custom colors, custom theming options, and you are good to go, or especially if you are love with any different, any separate color, red, blue, green, etc, etc. You can choose that and the monet settings are actual so useful in that case. Also, it has a UI styles. And as I just mentioned, a lot of custom rooms are providing you these kind of features. I mean, if you are into customization focused custom rooms, then you can try out these. These options, these UI styles are kind of inbuilt themes. So if you apply any one of them, the themes will be applied everywhere in the system. Icon pack customizations are there, font style customizations are there, which was kind of expected and most of you are already aware of these kind of similar kind of things which are present here. So basically, if you take a look at all the customizations, I guess I have shared all the things, all the necessary things which you have to look out. So yes, these were things I just wanted to let you know. I mean, if you by any chance, if you like this video, make sure to like this. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because of a lot of things are coming very, very soon. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.